now. Everything is pretty much good to go, but there's a problem. I could use four scan to do it. That on a Nash ass pretty car probably wouldn't give you much problem. Oh, no. But on, you know, heck, you're pushing 800 to the wheel, 900 to the wheel, that's over 1,000 at the motor. It's horsepower for you. Yep. While we're here, I have another surprise to you. I was gonna save it, but I kind of have to do this because those front wheels, I know it's dark right now, just give me a second, but. It's been a couple of weeks, so we had uh, some transmission issues. If you haven't seen the videos, check them out. A little bit of damage done to the Circle D converter, which is unfortunate. That's like a $2,000 converter, but good on Circle D because they are going to fix it for free. In the meantime, we have to go back to the stock OEM converter and it's being built right now. Everything is pretty much good to go, but there's a problem. To keep things safe, we went with a new valve body. That's what I'm going to show you right down here because you might run into this issue and this video is, um, Hopefully you're going to find some value in it if you ever run into a problem. It's kind of like building a car. You want to be more safe than sorry. At least I do anyways. This is a box we have to install as soon as we get the car back. Very excited. This is a Lethal Performance exclusive made by Corsa double H pipe. We showed you in the last couple of videos, but your shift strategies. Some of the numbers over here are different. They are probably going to be different if you ever have to replace your valve body. This thing is a nasty mess. They come all wrapped up. A little bit more than this but this is pretty much what it looks like so these numbers are vastly different than the stock one that i have i'm not going to open it up right here i'm gonna let him do that but this is pretty much what a valve body looks like guys so i'm gonna flip it it's kind of heavy you can service these if you kind of know what you're doing but imagine taking all of this stuff apart all these different solenoids and stuff like that getting it all back together i just figured that you know we would replace it with a brand new one they're not cheap this one was the cheapest i could find in the country and it was still 400 dollars. i was concerned with metal so even though we thought that there was minimal metal in the transmission that front bushing in the converter was a little messed up we did change the clutches so there's a little bit of shavings from that in the filter and on the magnet. So I wanted to be safe and just go ahead and replace the valve body because we don't want a built transmission going back in the car with the old stuff and then having issues and having to redo this again because it's a very expensive process. There is any kind of metal floating around in there. It's just going to circulate and it's going to cause damage. There she is. Is that his car? Yeah, that's his uh, LPF car. And found a stranger, Mr. Speed Addict 731. Again, it's going to help us out with the transmission, but all right, still got the exhaust out, but transmission should be in. So let's see. Up oh, there it is. Can't wait to be able to drive this thing with the stock converter, see how it feels, how it compares to the uh, the old one. We had the Circle D before, you guys know. I could use four scan to do it. It's just a lot easier for me to go in with Ford and do it. So what he's doing, he's getting his computer set up. He's going to go in through uh, with IDES, I believe, instead of Foreskin. So uh, we have to sync up the numbers, basically reflash the computer. We have to make the numbers on the new valve body match the PCM. You can get one of these, but... They're expensive, and like the passenger device is so much cheaper. Same thing. Get you done, I guess. You gotta put it back in stock team first. Yeah. If we can figure out which one to buy from it's Amazon, DLM, I'll, I'll send you a link. Yeah. You, gotta, you need the one for high speed and medium speed. Yeah. That you can switch back and forth to get into all the modules. Yeah. To be able to change stuff, but it, you gotta be careful about it. When you go in and change that data, you can mess stuff up. Oh, I wouldn't do it without your consent. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> but at least I we'd have it on hand. As long as you got you the know. right, as long as you got the right as built data to plug in, what you're wanting to do is fine. Right, right. The only thing with the with the valve bodies you gotta be really careful about is when you're taking the, the cylinder ones out. Yep. Uh, the, the, the valves out, really. You don't want to. They will nick if they get stuck and you wiggle them too much. They will nick the aluminum if they're done. Yeah. They don't look that bad, do they? Well, right, it's, but you're wanting them to hold a lot right there and you're wanting them to hold a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the one that he was getting some heat out of and slipping a little bit, but they're yeah. not horrible, but I mean, they're that not, was the worst one. They're not horrible, but like I told him, that on a Nash Asprey car 
probably wouldn't give you much problem. Oh, yeah. But on, you know, heck, you're pushing 800 to the wheel, 900 to the wheel, that's over a thousand at the motor. To be you know, honest, that, that right there would. It's yeah. one of the better looking set of punches that I've taken apart, As to it, be honest with you. Yeah. This is mostly just the, the problem with the converter, I guess. It was good, man. Oh yeah, this would it wouldn't have been much longer. Yeah, it, it, it was taking it to the track, and that one would have been. Oh, that one, this one, this one. one going. Yep. Because it was wearing good and getting hot. I mean, you can see all um, the burn marks yep. and chattering. Yep. Yep. It's horsepower for you. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Basically, just go to powertrain. Yep. And go transmission. And then go right down here. To... Gotcha. Procedure will read the transmission strategy. Do you wish to continue? He's just, he's asleep. How in the heck is he sleeping like this? Are you asleep? tired. Oh my gosh. Because so you stayed up all night playing the switch. Now it's just telling you the procedure was successful. Every got the new one in there and it tells you the new one, so we're good to go. Good to go. That's all we gotta do. It's been a week, I think. Uh, a little bit of backstory here. So when you're doing a valve body, make sure you get your numbers right. <laughs> We need to update the shift strategies. No, we were having a problem with foreskin, unfortunately. So thankfully Ken made the trip back down here. Big shout out to him and his channel. Also go check him out. He's got a new surprise on his channel. And I think that you'd want to see it. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna have an updated new stock file that we can send off to Palm Beach Shino, get our new tune uh, based off of that. Be good to go, be back on the racetrack. But while we're here, have another surprise. Got another surprise. Got to get out of his trunk. We are going to, I was going to save it, but I kind of have to do this because those front wheels, I know it's dark right now, just give me a second, but ooh, look at that. We got new, new wheels. I like the Ford Stars. I really love the rears. The bead locks look so good. Everybody's a fan of them. I am too. Really like them. No complaints. But the fronts, it's kind of, kind of hit or miss with some people and myself included. I, uh, I like them, but I don't. So, and this is also a nine inch wide wheel. So not a actual front runner, skinny tire. So we did this for a street setup, but I think it's just the, the chrome. They look similar to a weld, like what you see here. You see on the welds, you got this polished lip on the inside. It's just a little different on the Ford Star. So same company, if you guys didn't know that. I wanted to uh, just change things up. I've been in love ever since I came out with the VMS. Uh, the fronts the rears. I think we're gonna keep these for now the bead locks until four star Maybe they'll well, I'm sorry until VMS comes out with their own which I think is gonna be soon But we're gonna put these on the car see how they look They're actually not too bad. They're not too heavy either. So let's get them in the light and see what they look like It's a 26 inch tall tire Which is the same as that but there's the difference so I'm gonna swap these out while they do that, go back and forth, and this is gonna be the new look. So yeah, we've got a front wheel. Gonna probably change the tire to a 28, that's a 26. So pretty common, a lot of people do it, but for reference, a 28 looks like that. So it's an 18 by five with a 28 tire. Of course, it's sitting on the ground, so it's gonna look a little bit different. But this will look kind of like it did before. Um, just kind of a skinny tire, but with the rear, so there is our combination. Looks good. Let me know what you think in the comments. But now VMS, I think I've said this like three or four times, is supposedly coming up with a design for their own bead lock. It'll be branded kind of similar to that. What do you think? You like it? You like it better than the... Uh... <laughs> so, yeah, different logos and center caps. So the only real difference um, up close is you have the polished accents there in the wheel versus back here you don't. You do around the outward edges but the inside spokes you don't so see really the only thing that kind of throws it off yeah i'm digging it can't wait to see it on the ground the new hotness looks fire man we are going to wrap up this video we are we have successfully reread the vehicle with the updated information the updated numbers shift strategies for the stock tune. So now next step, like I said, is going to mail this off to Rob Shoemaker, my tuner at Palm Beach Dino. Get a tune back here in a few days. And then at that time, we will have the car back finally. Go for our test drive, our first test drive, first real drive with the stock converter, because we never got to do that with the twin turbo 
uh, kit on the car. So I'm very excited. Can't wait to feel how peppy it's gonna be with these stock stall converter. Should make a big difference. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Dude, I couldn't talk yesterday. I went to go film. Like I was watching me live. I gotta go film before it gets dark. I'm sitting out there, I was scripting. Like I had four versions of that video. Four. Yeah. And uh, I picked the one I wanted. And you're filming me. Of course I'm filming you. Because it makes me feel better because I can't talk to them. Oh. Yeah. I know how to edit somewhat, so it'll be like choppy, 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 choppy. If you, if you are smart, if you're educated, and if you do this, especially if you're a content creator, you know I suck at talking, not afraid to admit it, and that's why you're gonna see chop, 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 chop. Trace came down and was, yeah. he was watching me film. And he was like, you take multiple cuts too. It's there every once in a while, it's not a one and go. And action. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit the record button and then the stupid switch comes. Yeah. We'll let Johnny over here go through the car a little bit more. Make sure that fluids are topped off and uh, make sure that he doesn't have to go back into the transmission. But so I'm gonna trust his judgment. So he knows what he's doing. Speaking of which, there's one right there. Mm hmm.